Hello and welcome Capricorn. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And I want to welcome back my friend and reader Jane Arnold. Welcome. Hello. So we have recorded um, nine signs already, Capricorn, that's you. You are the tenth sign. Um, and I just need a sip of water because I'm done talking, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? So we're recording them all in one row. It can be quite, quite uh, difficult. Anyway, what we're going to do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of November 2023 for the sign of Capricorn before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, healing comes in, that kind of stuff. Um, and then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023. So I can have a sip. Without further ado, we go into the overall energy for your very sign. Okay, Capricorn. We have oh, energy work, Capricorns. There's a feeling with this that you need to watch your energy a little bit in November. Uh, you need to look out for yourselves a little bit in November. Um, I feel like life has been on a treadmill. And it feels everything has been full ball, full blast. And November is the time for you to just listen to your body, listen to what's needed for you, and just take that time out for you and step back a little bit and step down, down a little bit because um, you will be feeling a little bit of burnout this month. And some of you will think, if I can just go till Christmas, I'll get a break in December. No, you need to slow down now. You need to take that breather now and then you'll feel better for it and you'll be able to go ahead full ball and enjoy Christmas. Thank you. And I get exactly that also for your emotional core. The energy here is the energy of Pisces. Pisces is the sign of the dreamer. Pisces is governed by Neptune. Um, and Neptune is just another word for Poseidon, the god of the sea. And so the energy that Neptune brings, Neptune brings spirituality to the fore. And so therefore, you, you have to, or to, should, <laughs> go into, um, this is how I feel, but you go into a reflective mode. What they're asking you is to, sounds a bit weird, resensitize yourself. Because there is so much that went on and is going on around you that you may have lost a bit of connection to yourself simply because you can't even charge your batteries. Mm -hmm. And taking time out, for want of a better word, will allow you to re-energize and resensitize yourself to how you are really feeling and what you want out of life. This is literally the energy of being a bit overworked. Yeah. So the energy of Pisces, or the depiction of Pisces, is two fish. See, I never know if there's a plural. Fish, fishes, because I remember there's an, there's a erasure song and the fishes in the sea and yeah. then, so I don't know. Anyway, two of these guys. <laughs> the, so the depiction is two fishes that swim away from one another and then they return. And that's what needs to happen here, you know. So you can be all over the place and now it's time to return to the essence of yourself. So what that means is, and this is important, because normally I ask my guys to tell me if this is about a relationship, love, or about healing. And here it is neither. It is not specific. It is about a general understanding. The more you are at ease with yourself, and the more you are at ease with life, and with your place in it, the easier life will flow, and you deserve to look and prioritize yourself. Okay? That was the um, <clears throat> your emotional core. And now we're moving on to, um, what's it called? Yeah, the um, opportunities. opportunities, thank you. Before we do this, I just want to share with you that I'm currently an executive contributor for an amazing magazine called Brains. You can see it on the screen. Um, and they handpick people that they find knowledgeable. So thank you, Brains Magazine, for picking me. Um, I write a lot of articles um, on, on mindfulness. So there's loads of stuff from myself, um, but this is a massive magazine with tons of contributors, if that makes sense. Um, and they have all sorts of people, um, even people that look at um, how to spiritualize your work life. So there's about entrepreneurship, all sorts of stuff in there, but it's all about empowerment. And um, since all readings are about empowerment, I mean, that's the whole point, we're giving you a heads up, for want of a better word, right? 
uh, or at least guidance how to carry yourself and what you can expect from a certain month. The magazine is no different. Uh, point is, it's in a really amazing magazine and not just saying it because they're not sponsoring me i could have also said and i would have also said you know it's not for me but i write for it which is also a bit counterproductive the point is i have had a chance to look into it and i also follow some people that have youtube channels right so we're collaborating looking at each other and it's amazing how many helpful people are out there that want you to have an amazing life so without without you know that all said the um information to the brains magazine is in the description box below and then lastly, we are looking at um, the, the uh, opportunities as I present ourselves to you this very month for your sign of Capricorn. Lovely, Capricorn. So we've, we've just been talking about taking time for you, um, watching burnout, overwork, etc. This actually, this is what do you desire, choices, decisions, heading over, getting over um, barriers, things like that, things that have been stopping you moving forward, been slowing you down. And this is one of the reasons why that you've been on this conveyor belt for so long, um, because you've been feeling you've had to just keep going, keep going, keep going. And what this is saying is, these opportunities will be coming in for you, but they'll be coming in when the time is right for you. And if you do as we've suggested in these cards, the time will come quicker rather than later. If you don't and you do still keep going forward the way that you have done, it's going to take longer for the opportunities to come forward for you. So just take the advice on board, do what's needed to be done. Don't be too stubborn because you can be quite stubborn and know that the opportunities are there and they will come in as soon as you've listened to the advice and done what they've suggested. Thank you very much. And I was just drawn to getting another card, if that makes sense, even though I was yeah. like, I set my face. <laughs> and the card was you. You have Capricorn. Ah. So what they're saying is, you know, just be yourself. Really, really yeah. important. Another thing that comes to my mind is, is a, it's not a weirder thing, but it's not something everybody uh, subscribes to. So I'll tell you an example. Or I'll give you a, a reason. For millennia, people have looked into latitude and longitude and how they affect our planet. And for the longest time, you've heard about these lizard people, you know, these bad people that don't want you to, to, to do well. It's just one of those energies that has been floating around. And in astrology, the, and not just in astrology, in reality, the constellation of Draco, which is the constellation that governs these... Um, Lizard people, <laughs> sounds a bit weird, goes from Aries right to the cusp of Capricorn. What that means is the energy of lizard people is about making sure you're not really progressing. You do what we want you to do. And because the constellation ends when Capricorn begins, they cannot affect. Capricorn, Aquarius or Pisces and then they started Aries again. Now that doesn't mean that I'm a Pisces and right, my life is fucking great, Nobody, can, nothing can happen to me, I don't get it that way. But when it comes to people manipulating you, the belief has always been that the signs before Capricorn are easier to sway and the, is, the issue that you have as a Capricorn is that the reason why you sometimes don't know where to go is because your sign is associated with three different elements. So you look at your sign, you're, you're depicted by the mountain uh, and goat, right? Uh, but when your sign came about, um, you were depicted as a, as a race of sea goats. And when you go to the Vedic astrology, India, there, uh, thereabouts, they say, no, 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 Capricorn is, a, is, an, is, an, is an alligator. And then these guys who say that even confuse it with a, with, with a crocodile, which are totally different beings, Right? So the point is, there is this part of you that can be very insecure because you're not quite sure where things are going. Mm. And all the guides are saying is, don't give in to this because nobody else but you can give you that feeling. People that are manipulative, by default, have a hard time reaching you. Your imprint can be in the way sometimes. We believe that you choose to be born to whom, where and when, so you chose to be Capricorn. Now, every sign has pros and cons, if that makes sense, right? 
But the point the guys are making is, you are in your strengths, you cannot be lied to. You understand if you had have been lied to and deceived, that's because you were not really in your core. And what I'm getting for you is to understand that, you know, you can figure out who is full of shit a mile away. So trust your intuition at all times. But you cannot be manipulated until you do it from a place of trauma and a place of want. Right? Just what I'm getting. Very interesting because mm -hmm. I, I was, you know, I was I thought we're, we're done here. <laughs> anyway, so uh, and while I'm talking, I'm gonna talk a little more. So the last thing I want to say to you is if um if you are interested in getting uh, an astrology report for yourself and for your loved ones, um there is a 10% off special offer just for people that um are on my Facebook page or my TikTok and all that kind of stuff, and also um, here on my YouTube page. You can see the pictures on the screen. If you're interested in it and what it does, I made a video, a short video of three and a half minutes about what, it's, what I need from you and what it actually does entail. So it's a much more in-depth um, video out there just for you to watch it, uh, which is on that channel. Please like, subscribe and share. That's all we got. Jane, thank you so much. Thank you for right. having me. And Enjoyed it. see you next month. Take care. Bye-bye.